This video will show you how to create and use custom variables within Vista Pro. Say for example, I want to evaluate the number of people in a zone that are dissatisfied. If I select that room in my model, I can look at a number of different variables currently, including percentage of people dissatisfied, as well as the number of people that are within the space. What I don't have is a number of people that are dissatisfied. I could take this data in tabular form, paste it into Excel, and calculate that information myself. Instead, I'm going to use the Vista Pro custom variables to add a variable to my list of options that shows me the number of people that are dissatisfied. To do this, I'm going to come to the Vista Pro menu and manage custom variables. Within this window, I will add a new variable, and I will call this number of people dissatisfied. I'm going to start by selecting the variables I'll use to calculate the number of people dissatisfied. First, from the room variables list, I'll select my percent people dissatisfied. Next, I'll select my number of people. To determine the number of people that are dissatisfied, I will start by taking the number of people represented here by the variable B, and I will multiply that by the percentage of people dissatisfied, A, divided by 100. By dividing A by 100, I ensure that if I have 22 people in my space and 10% are dissatisfied, that I see 2.2 dissatisfied people and not 220. Once this formula is complete, I'll click OK. And immediately in my room variable list, I can see the number of people dissatisfied variable available in purple. When I select this variable and plot it on a graph, I can now look at the number of people in my space that are dissatisfied. Likewise, I can overlay this with variables like room air temperature or mean radiant temperature. Let's do a more complex example. If I've entered exterior lighting in my model as part of modeling for ASHRAE Standard 90.1 Appendix G performance rating method, the exterior lighting in my model turns on and off based on a formula profile that was imported as part of the PRM process. To view this formula, I can navigate to Apache and open up the Apache Profiles database. Here, I can grab my external lighting profile and take a look at this formula. Using the Apache Profiles user guide, I can look up that IGH is the incident global radiation on the horizontal plane, read from my weather file. The operator INT means integer and is going to take the integer value of the global radiation rounded down. If the value of this formula is greater than 0.5, the exterior lighting will be turned on. A value of less than 0.5 will signal off and the exterior lighting will be turned off. Back in Vista Pro, I can turn on my weather variables and take a look at the global radiation from my weather file. This allows me to see the global radiation value, but doesn't tell me whether the value in that formula profile is greater than or less than 0.5 and how my exterior light should be responding as a result. To do this, again, I'm going to go to Vista Pro and manage custom variables. I'll add a new variable and I'll call this exterior lighting on or off. I'll begin by selecting that global radiation variable from my list of weather variables. And I'll write a formula here that represents the formula from the profile that's used for exterior lighting. So that's 0.1 times 100 times 1 minus. And I'm going to use the floor function here to represent the integer function used in Apache profiles. The integer function in Apache profiles was rounding the value down. To make sure I round the value down, I'm going to use the floor function. All of my functions and operators can be seen over here in these two pull-down menus. I want the floor of the variable I've identified as A, the global radiation, and I'll finish this to match. Once my formula is in a valid format, you can see I've switched back to this blue info button that lets me know that it is valid. 
You previously saw the warning yellow arrow to let me know it had not yet been checked, as well as the red X to let me know that I had an error. I can now plot a variable that shows me the value calculated in that formula profile. Here, anything greater than 0.5 will be on, and all of the values less than 0.5 will be off. If I want to simplify this to be a more clear on-off, I can do so. Back in Manage Custom Variables, I'm going to edit this formula to include an if function. So if that formula is greater than 0.5, then I want to report a value of 1, indicating that this is on. Else, I want a value of 0, indicating that this is off. Now that I've made this change, I don't want this 1 and 0 function to show with the units of BTU per hour per square foot. So instead, I'm going to change this to simply be a number. Now when I plot this variable, I see a very concise 1 or 0 to let me know if my exterior lighting is on or off. I can overlay this with my building energy variables to confirm that this does in fact match the operation of my exterior lighting in the model. Thanks for watching this video. To stay up to date with our latest VE Masterclass videos, be sure to subscribe to the IES YouTube channel.